So we're taking a look at Titanfall 2 campaign running on the i5 1135G7. Now specifically, this is going to be the, the campaign. I have never played the multiplayer on here and I don't plan on doing that. But uh, if there's demand for it, I will. But uh, I just had no plans for it. But I, I love the campaign in this game. I've actually played the campaign. I have not played the multiplayer. Uh, I, I just really enjoy the campaign. It was very fun. I, I love this style of campaign. And it ran perfectly fine on here. Now, this is at 1080p, lowest settings. And uh, the performance is not amazing. But you can get away with it. That being said, the game is just so fast-paced. That if this was any other game, maybe I'd be like, okay, yeah, you could totally do it like this. But I genuinely feel held back by how it's performing right now at 1080p. So I feel like 1080p is not the way to go. I think 720p, you get way more performance. I mean, look at that. We are in the hundreds of frame rates right now. And I mean, this is just through the, you know, a little practice course. I was just using this just to get a feel for which one I wanted to dive into first with. And 720p ended up winning dramatically just because it feels so much more responsive. It's so much nicer. For this kind of game, I would just say just play it in 720p and enjoy the high frame rate. Jumping into the campaign, you'll see that the performance does take a noticeable hit compared to that training room, and that should be expected. For the most part, though, the game remains very playable, and it is extremely enjoyable like this. Now, this isn't at the absolute lowest setting. You can go lower than this. You can actually disable the shadows. Well, at least the soft shadows. You can pretty much disable them, but I found it to really visually destroy the game. With or the, without the shadows on though, the performance is still consistent enough that you're going to have a excellent time playing through the campaign at 720p. It just really depends on whether you value absolute performance or if you would rather have a little bit better visual fidelity. I personally think that having the shadows on is better, but it's a single player game and I don't really care too much about having the absolute highest frame rate, but that might be different for you. So really, it just depends on your personal preference.